Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Happy to have you all with me today as I am getting ready to land on Arcadia Moon. So, guys, we talked briefly about the fact that the Arcadia development team has created a new instance on Arcadia Moon. It's a genetics lab, lab where smugglers can get access, or everybody, but specifically smugglers. But you can get access to this new genetics lab and go in and take on a cool new mob. It's got its own codex. And the whole idea is this is where Planet Arcadia has their version of the upgradable armor plates. Now we keep seeing these upgradable armor plates across different planet partners. We've already made the video about the ones on Next Island. It's in the Next Island playlist. We're going to be talking about how to get access to the instance itself in this video. We'll cover the actual armor plates in future videos. And then, of course, we've got to do the set on Cyrene and uh, Crystal Palace. But today, I'm landing on Arcadia Moon. Because I want to talk to you guys about how you even go about getting access to this new instance to begin with. Because it's a little complicated. And it's going to be a little difficult. It's not going to be for everybody. This is going to be something that you're really going to have to strive for, something you're going to really want to have to have access to if you're going to get into it. And there are some nuances that come with it. This video today is just for the general overview, and then we will get to the nuances of all this in a different video in the future. There's still some things being worked out here. So I'm at Alpha Portal. We're going to jump over to Gamma Portal. Now I am on Arcadia Moon, on the actual moon itself. Now what's important to know is that you can also go to Celeste Quarry if you're on Planet Arcadia's surface, or if you're in the underground, you can go to the Planet Arcadia Underground at the Arcadia Underground Teleporter. The third option is the one that I'm using, which is if you're on Arcadia Moon, you can just use Gamma Portal. Now what we're going to be looking for is we are going to be looking for a mysterious merchant and a mysterious traveler. This should be them right here. Yep, so here's the mysterious traveler. Here's the mysterious merchant. Now, these NPCs are at all three of the locations I just named. Celeste Quarry, the Arcadia Underground Teleporter, and here at the Arcadia Moon Gamma Portable. So the Mysterious Traveler is the one that we're going to talk to first. He is going to give us a series of daily missions. So first things first, let's talk to him. Crafting daily mission, Arcadia Territory. Hunting daily mission, Arcadia Moon. Mining daily mission, Arcadia Territory. So I have a feeling that this, this hunting daily is done here on the moon. And the crafting and mining dailies, I have a feeling, are done on Arcadia. But let's check. So let's start with the crafting daily mission. The task is to craft particle samples divided into three categories. Okay, now this is going to be important later, but right now let's just go through the actual mission dialogue. Category 1, upon completion of this mission, the player will receive one Arcadia daily insignia. Category 2, upon completion of the mission, the player will receive two Arcadia Daily Insignia. Category 3, upon completion of the mission, the player will receive three Arcadia Daily Insignia. Please choose your category. So, I don't know the difference in these other than this one says 20 attempts, this one says, this one says 20, 10, and 5. We'll get to the insignias here in a second because those insignias are essentially what we're going to collect... We need to turn those insignias in after we get them to the Mysterious Merchant over here for particle sample blueprints. We'll get to that in a second. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Category 1, 20 attempts, and there's a reason for this. I already know what blueprint it's going to spit out. So, I need to start with the very bottom one, which is raw. Then we're going to go with this. Choose your hunting and category. You can go with Oompa and Warhound and Syracus, Syracus Brute and Syracus Commander, GMC Gamma 3. 
So I'm going to go with Category 1, Oompa and Warhound, just because that is a personal preference. And then on the mining, the task is to seek out ore in matter or treasure and it is necessary to select which type you want to excavate. So I'm going to go with ore. Great choice, you've selected ore. It's time to select one item from the list now to obtain daily Arcadia Insignia. Take a look at the list of claim sizes along with their corresponding progress value. So this is the find rate. So if you find minimal, then the smallest find, you're only going to get 0.1% progress toward the mission. If you get abundant and up, you're going to get 100% instant progress toward the mission. Excuse me, guys. Let me let the dog out real quick. Come here. Come on. Come on. Sorry, guys. Picks needed out. So you're going to be depending on which finder you're using and which amp you're using if you're using mining amps it, it could take you a very long time to do this with a tt finder or it could take you no time with a huge amp like level 13. so we have to pick a stone so let's see here You know what, I'm going to go with, I think, Ospra. Uh, see, if you go with the harder to find stones, you can get more insignias. I see, that makes sense. I think I'm going to go with Ospra. Okay, so we have these missions here. And... Whenever we complete these missions, we will get insignias. Now, insignias, we can trade into the Mysterious Merchant. Exchange Arcadia Daily Insignias. Hello, adventurer. You want to exchange some Arcadia Daily Insignias for some blueprints. Certainly, I would like Raw Particle Sample 1, one daily insignia for 20 clicks of the blueprint. Certainly I would like Fragile Particle Sample 1 daily, one daily insignia for 15 clicks, blah, 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 flimsy, durable, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of tricky. So once you get the insignias from doing the daily mission, then you come to the uh, Mysterious Merchant and you trade those insignias for these blueprints. These are limited blueprints. So... This one has 20 clicks, this one has 15 clicks, this one has 10 clicks, these ones have 5 clicks. And it's simply, you have to start at the bottom of a chain and start clicking your way up. So I've got to create raw particle samples, and then those raw particle samples are an input that I need to make fragile particle samples. Once I've made fragile particle samples, those are needed to make flimsy particle samples, which are then needed to make durable particle samples, which are needed to make sturdy particle samples, so on and so forth. Now... Once you get all the way through all of these, you're still not done. Because then there are an additional four types of particle samples that you need to get through. Those blueprints have to be looted, as far as I'm currently aware. So, even once you get through all this, then you have to take your heavy-duty particle sample, and you have to get those blueprints that you can only get via looting those blueprints, and you have to make a MK1 particle sample, MK2 particle sample, MK3 particle sample, all the way to MK4 particle sample. Once you do that, that MK4 particle sample, my current understanding, is what will originally give you access to this new instance on Arcadia Moon. This instance that will allow you to hunt for armor plates and upgrade items that you can use to upgrade your plate. So right now, I'm going to click off that. So we use the Mysterious Traveler to get the missions. We do the missions to get the insignias. We trade the insignias to the merchant. The merchant then gives us particle sample blueprints. We craft our way through the particle sample chain, loot the MK1 through 4 particle sample blueprints, use the inputs to craft the MK1, 2, 3, and 4 particle sample, and then and only then, once we get the MK4 particle sample, can we actually get instance to access to the instance. Then, 
there's an additional issue of the price that you have to pay when you want to go into the instance if you're a regular player versus if you're a smuggler. We'll get to that in a future video that's beyond the scope of this video. We will definitely get to that later on down the road. In addition, we can come back to the Mysterious Merchant and we can hit Lunar Play Upgrade. Hi, welcome Stevie B. How can I help you today? Hi there, I heard that you can upgrade lunar plate armor. Is that true? Absolutely, I can definitely enhance the lunar plate, resulting in increased protection. However, the uh, upgrade requires to have a certain amount of Arcadia, Daily Insignia, and some specific materials. Can you give me more details? So, obviously we can do adjusted, improved, modified, augmented, or perfected, just like we can with all the other plate upgrades. So let's see, all, if we jump all the way to perfected, what is needed for a perfected plate? So for a perfected plate, you're going to need 1,000 Arcadia Daily Insignias. They will not be consumed in the process. So in addition to using these daily missions to get insignias, to get your hands on these blueprints, you're going to need 1,000 if you want to upgrade to the perfected plate. But the good news is they are not consumed in the process. So you can slowly collect these over time. These can be obtained from doing missions on Planet Arcadia, Arcadia Underground, and Arcadia Moon. Okay, cool. Number two, you will need one lunar plate augmented. Abominations inside the smuggler gen genetics laboratory of all levels drop lunar plates as loot. So the abomination is the new mob and the smuggler genetics lab is the lab we're trying to get into. You would also need one abomination blood vial 8 milliliter. Abomination bosses inside smuggler genetics lab level 5 drop these as loot. There are also three times complete particle samples that would need to be crafted. So even once you get to the MK4 particle sample that can get you into the lab, there's an MK5 particle sample and then there's a complete particle sample, both of which have limited blueprints, both of which are blueprints that you have to loot. So if you wanted to upgrade from augmented to perfected on the plates, you would have to have the plate itself, which would have to already be an augmented plate, meaning you will have already had to gone from adjusted to improved to modified to augmented. So you'd have to have an augmented plate, the vial 8 milliliter abomination uh, blood vial, which only drops from the level 5 bosses, which those things are horrendously large level. I mean, you're talking level 100 plus. And you would need three complete particle samples to have already been crafted to be able to get the plate. But let's take a look at the plate real quick. This is the perfected plate. So this is the end of the chain if you can get there. 24 cold protection, 18 cut, 12 impact, 18 stab, durability 3500, increases damage block chance by 5%, and it looks cool on top of that. So, yeah, this is what we've got to do. We've essentially either got to go to Celeste Quarry, we've got to go to the Arcadia Underground, or we've got to come here to Gamma Portal at the Moon. We've got to talk to the Mysterious Traveler, and we've got to get the different missions that are available. We've got to then use those missions to get insignias, and we've got to trade our insignias to the Mysterious Merchant for the blueprints that we need to start going through this basic chain of crafting the particle samples. Raw, fragile, flimsy, durable, sturdy, so on and so forth. Then, once we do that, if we can get all the way through it and manage to loot the blueprints for the MK1 to MK4 particle uh, sample blueprint, if we can craft a single MK4 particle sample, we can get access to the instance for the first time. But then keep in mind, guys, we have to keep collecting these insignias. We have to keep doing these daily missions to be able to even upgrade the plates that we get out of the instance. And we're also going to need to keep collecting these because we're going to have to have completed particle samples just to upgrade the plate. So let's talk to the merchant again. Let's see what the plate upgrade is for adjusted. We want the adjusted plate. We would need 200 Arcadia Daily Insignias. We would need the lunar plate itself, base level. A blood vial 1 milliliter from an abomination boss that drops in level 1 of the genetics lab. And one complete particle sample. And of course, that would give us a 1% block chance on the plate and protections of cold 12, cut 10, impact 4, and stab 10. So doing these daily insignia missions are going to be very, very, very important, both for getting the blueprints to craft the MK4 particle you're going to need to get access to the instance, and then later on for keeping doing these daily missions to get the 
insignias to trade for the blueprints to craft the completed particle sample to upgrade the plates and to have enough of these insignias on you to be able to upgrade the plates. Now luckily whenever you upgrade the plate the insignias are not consumed when you trade them for blueprints they are. So if you notice the crafting mission that I got first I have to try and craft a raw particle sample 20 times. Well notice I don't have the blueprint for that so how am I going to go about getting it? Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the hunting and mining daily and then I'm going to come to the mysterious merchant and since I want raw particle sample, what I will do, because that's raw particle sample over here, 0 out of 20 attempts, what I will do is I will come to her, and once I have completed the hunting and mining daily, I will trade one of my insignias to her for the raw particle sample blueprint with 20 clicks. I will then do those 20 clicks to finish this crafting daily. Then I will come back, I will get crafting, hunting, and mining missions again, do those, get more insignias, and then I will get more blueprints from the mysterious merchant to continue through my crafting chain in my attempt to get to where I can craft those MK1, 2, 3, and 4 particle samples. So as we go through this, as I get further down, I will actually show you guys the chain of each of the blueprints and each of the particle samples as we go. It's going to be a while. This is not a primary goal for me. This is a secondary goal. And this is going to be something I'm going to try and work on a little bit here and a little bit there as I can. But I at least wanted you guys to see that you can land either on Arcadia and go to Celeste Quarry. Or you can go to the Underground. Or you can come here to Gamma Portal on the Moon. And you can talk to the Mysterious Traveler to get these missions. I wanted you guys to know that when you complete the missions, you get the insignias. And you use the insignias to get the blueprints that you need to start crafting these particle samples, which, oddly enough, is ex the exact blueprint that you need for the crafting mission, meaning you have to do the hunting and da mining daily missions first to be able to have the insignias to get the blueprint to use the blueprint in the crafting daily. And then, of course, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the armor plate upgrade process itself, especially knowing that you're going to have to have the MK5 and then even the completed particle sample to even be able to upgrade the plates. And you're going to need several hundred, all the way up to a thousand, if you want the perfected plate, insignias as you go through to upgrade the plates. So I'm going to leave it there for today. This is just about getting the insignias from the daily mission and trading them for the blueprints. I know it's going to be kind of confusing trying to keep track of all the different blueprints for different particle samples. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an entire video dedicated to walking you guys through, okay, here's the beginning of the particle sample blueprint chain, and then here is how we slowly go up. We start with raw, and then we go to this, and then we go to this, all the way to MK4, and then in that same video I'll talk to you about the MK5 and, and the completed particle sample too. So it's going to be a long process. I've got to get a lot of insignias, which means a lot of daily missions. I've got to trade those for a lot of blueprints, and I've got to do those blueprints very, very slowly over a number of days. But we will eventually get there. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. Head over to earnped.com because when you earn, we earn. That is by far the best way you guys can help to support us. Simply use the links on earnped.com to go to hideout.tv. Hideout will automatically add us as a redemption option for hideout points. Guys, please do as the banner says at the bottom of the screen. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. When you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you stay up to date on all of the newest information that we put out there, all the newest content, and all the newest stuff in-game. And when you hit that like button, you're helping us to combat the trolls and the haters. But guys, we're getting emails every week we want to pass on to you from people that are saying, hey, whenever people hit those buttons for you, it's putting you on the right side of the, of the YouTube algorithm. I used to play this other game, and I was on YouTube and your videos popped up. I'd never heard of Entropy before. I started watching the videos, and now I've downloaded the game. Now I'm at North Swamp Camp, or now I'm at Camp Icarus or Twin Peaks. And now this is my hobby. It's my passion. And I absolutely love the game. I can't wait to get out into the universe and start exploring. So please let your viewers know that by clicking those three buttons, they're having a tremendous impact, not just on the game, not just on the community, not just on the economy, but on people like me who found this game because they hit that button. So guys, please keep it up and know that you are making a tremendous difference. You guys deserve to know the impact that you're having because it is huge. So until next time, sip, sip, smack, smack. Take care, Stevie's.